what I got to deal with being on the podcast with these gentlemen because they come in trying to intimidate me, trying to think that I'm going to not choose the shoes that I want because they're yeah. all swole up, and, you know, showing skin. I'm going to Debo you. <laughs> What up, what up? Welcome to Sneaker History Podcast. My name is Nick Ingvall with my guys, Mike Hillary and Robbie Falke to talk about some Jordan 1s today. We're going to run through a My Starting 5. There's a shitload of Jordan 1s <laughs> out there. What's good, guys? How you guys doing? I'm good, man. Sore, but my Astros have made it to uh, secure Game 3, so uh, we'll see what happens to- tomorrow whenever you guys listen to this. Nice. I'm just lumberjacking, you know, wearing the vest. <laughs> All right, swole sweet. Other than that, I'm good. <laughs> talking to me about swole do you see yourself what are you talking I know, about that's, the, that's a beautiful i'm trying to get angle. like you <laughs> we're both like spider-man i'm trying to get like you it's kind of what i'm good i got to deal with being on the podcast with these gentlemen because they come in trying to intimidate me trying to think that i'm going to not choose the shoes that i want because they're yeah. all swole up and you know showing skin. i'm gonna debo you <laughs> this is gonna be a my starting five episode if you're new to this, it's basically like a fantasy draft. What we do is we start one person, we run down the list, and then the last person gets the back, turn the back around, the round back, flip, pick, and we go until we hit five, and then we do a six man just, you know, so we have that bench, that, that, what do you call it? The, uh, the versatility off the bench, if you will. But, uh, player. Mike, you said that you picked the order, right? You already randomized it? Yep, yep. So it was you first, Nick, Robbie second, and I will come in and tell in. All right. Jordan ones. First off, right off the bat for me, shattered backboards. That's my favorite Jordan one of all time. We'll wear it for the rest of my life. That's a good one. I like it. I like it. Shout out to Lord. Cause my first one is Royals. I think it's most beautiful, <laughs> more beautiful than the bread, more unique than the bread, but still it's a black and blue shoe with a white wall. Can't beat it. Yeah. That's a good one. So yeah. just for the record too, uh, if you're not a member of the Patreon, then you didn't get all the details of how we're going to run this show. But we're not going to allow each other to pick a shoe. Like if Robbie picks the Royal ones, say from you know 2001, I can't pick one, or Mike can't pick one from 2016 or whatever it was. So once it's once the colorway is picked, it's off. It's over. Go ahead. Mike. I'll say that I get the mid Royal too. Like give me those mids too. I'm going to be greedy. <laughs> all variations, so pick, mid, lows, <laughs> yeah, so. fats, whatever you want. I think that's fair because then Nick gets, I mean, do we do it that way where like Nick gets all shattered backboards or just the, the shattered backboard? Nah, I don't, I don't, I only you want can have them all, all I guess. Oh, okay. As long as he takes shattered Besides, backboard. Besides, if we say that you're going to take the mids, people that know you are going to be like, this, this one, this one looks like his <laughs> cat. <Yeah>. I get <laughs> lies. <laughs> <laughs> I have all one right. pair of mids might be on my list, but all right. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, Mike. They, they might be in a different universe. It was in multiverse, Robbie. <laughs> So <laughs> Dr. Dr. Doom Robbie. <laughs> My number one pick is gonna be, I think, probably the most uh wearable Jordan one ever, and it's gonna be the Shadow One. My favorite Jordan one of all time. Still need a pair, Nike, help your boy out. Um but let's see. Number two with the time machine, how are they gonna help you out with that one? Oh, they got like fifty of them <laughs> You know they got something they gotta come out in twenty twenty two. Just help your boy out. You give me one early. Hey, you, you might as well, if you're throwing it out there, you may, may as well be specific and say you want the 2009s because that version was buttery. I yes. mean, I can only wish. Okay, Flight Club or uh, StockX or someone <laughs> just slap me in 2009. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, What's your second so no, one? Number two is going to be the Nigel Sylvester uh, Jordan 1. Nice. Good pick. Still want that, that one too. definitely on my list. Love that freaking shoe. So that is literally a grill of mine. If I can get it, and that's the one time I'll spend 500 bucks for a shoe, and you guys will know about it when it happens. I wish it was 500 That thing's not $500 anymore. In my size, it is. I just checked today, Damn. pro. <laughs> a, I check I every mean, day. for just, it, It's hurt my soul every time I look at it, but I keep checking. You're like Wayne in Wayne's World looking at the Stratocaster. All day. <laughs> Stop torturing yourself, man. You'll never afford it. Live in the now. It will be mine. Oh, yes. It will be mine. <laughs> no stairway to heaven. Um, all right. Well, damn. Okay. I'm going to Chicago because nobody else has said it yet. And I think it's... It's a pretty shoe. 
I think it's the second prettiest. I don't like the bread that much, man. It's a, a thing. If you gave me a choice between all of them, I would take shadows also before the breads. Of those four, mm-hmm. bread's my least favorite of the four. Okay. And they're all good, though. That's, that's what's funny about it, right? Like, oh, it's not that good. It's still iconic. But it's not <laughs> that good. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I don't even have breads on my list, so. Um, I guess, like, the... I, I, Second one, I just got to go with the other one that I'm going to wear all the time, and that's the court purples. Same same mock up as the as the shattered's basically with purple. I got to mm-hmm. got to have my sports teams covered first and foremost when it comes to Jordans. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm coming back around. Wow. Um, so can we pick? Can we pick the? Uh, uh, I, I wanted to call him Mike out because Nigel sounds pretty limited to me. That was not a general type release. <laughs> I mean, it released on my foot. See, I think we should just have him in there. I mean, I don't, I don't that's have anything that's crazy limited on my list. So go for it. We'll, we'll have to do a, a V2 of this with like literally three other discord people joining. Yeah. In. Let's do that. And we'll have like an actual here, yeah. snake. All right, so so yeah, let's let's try to avoid the the crazy collabs and the crazy rare shit. All right, all right, um, and then, and then we'll have an extendo clip version of this yep. episode. <laughs> all right, <laughs> so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, third pick is gonna be the black toes. That's one of the the originals that I've never had that I would love to actually own. Okay, Mike, go back and repick them. Uh, I'm, we're, we're gonna. Ah. Are, 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 are we gonna? Are we gonna? Reggie? Nah, but, I can are we still, are close enough, right? Heisman? It's not a crazy overpriced shoe, right? I mean, it costs us, it costs less than a freaking bread. That's and true. Yeah, and a Chicago. <laughs> well, what, no, here's the real test. We Mike's got to leave the Nigel on there, and then the next time we run it back with more people, we got to see if he actually goes the same way. Oh hell yeah. It was, oh no, it was gonna be on there regardless. I was gonna pick it number one, but I was like, still need to make sure my shadow is there because I knew one of you. Uh, when you guys are going to pick it before I can get it. <laughs> I just wanted to Reggie Bush you and take your Heisman away. So <laughs> I want to take one from you too, but since we don't have the hyper releases, I, I won't be able to take it. Yes. You know exactly no, okay, what I'm talking we'll keep about. It. <laughs> yeah, I know. We, we can, we can, we can leave it then. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll leave your Nigel then. So then I'm up with my third one and I'm actually going to go with very new school. Mm-hmm. Having it in hands, beautiful. That Mocha One really is a beautiful, beautiful yeah. shoe. Modern day classic. I like it. I think that's the last Jordan that I've hit on on the sneakers app was the pair you got. Was it? Yeah, hey, wasn't that for Robbie? Sh- <laughs> I haven't yeah. worn them yet, but I literally take them out of the box and I look at them like a weirdo. Hey, it's fall time, bro. Look at them. It's I brown them. shoe they weather nice, for you. They have a nice heel. <laughs> oh my! God. All right, all right. So. My number three is going to be the Storm Blue Jordan One, one that sat on the shelf. Damn and I it, Mike. Myself for not buying. I forgot about that one. Uh, and then, well, let me cross that off. We don't need that. Um, number four is going to be the Black White Jordan One. Another good pick. Not as good as the Storm Blue. Storm Blue is a really good pick. Forgot about that one completely. I love that shoe. This shoe was specifically was one where, like, in my dorm room freshman year of college, I wanted so bad, and it just shows how times have changed so drastically a beautiful shoe from 2008 the air jordan one retro armed forces oh my goodness I... wait armed forces yes weird pick the weird jordan 13 cat eye type jewel swoosh but it's the real cool army logo on the back heel and at the time like theme jordan there's the polka dot one remember that there's a polka dot jordan one mid um, there was a striped one I at the time they were those. doing like a tribe called quest with a strap, like lots of weird ass Jordan ones, but they, <laughs> they had a lot of flavor. So yeah, 2008's armed forces. What do I got here? I'm going to go a little, a little off the beaten path. Just being a baseball fan. I actually really like those Barons Jordan ones from whenever that was nice way yeah. back in the day, the black and gray 2014 yep. pinstripe oh, lining. Yeah. I want to say 2014. That's a good one. I forgot about that one. My last pick, I'm going with the SB Lance Mountains, the white version. Beautiful. That, that's yeah. a good one. That's a fantastic um, shoe. Man, I've been I've been struggling here with this last one. Um, oh, there's so many Jordan ones. 
I forget you have um, a six man. So don't, don't limit yourself. Yeah, right. There's so many Jordan ones. Um, I mean, let's just, uh, I'm, I'm going to keep her classic. Um, the white metallic orange that never has retroed. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean, it's really just a random pick. I don't know why I said that shoe, but I was like, what's a beautiful Jordan one, white and orange. So yeah, it's the white metallic. Yeah. 1985's very own. It's funny because my last pick is actually going to be the metallic navies. So that I is a fantastic navies. shoe to actually own. So I'm, I love that one. So cool. Then. All right. Scantic. Nick, you have the first pick. So that means you have the first pick for the sixth man, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, only because it's the six man and it's not coming off and it's not my starting five. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with bread ones. Yeah. Why not? I haven't got that Arms long. Pool leg. <laughs> that is a good. One. I, I almost took it out of this necessity too, in there, but I didn't. Um, you know, my heart wants to say the upcoming white and Bordeaux. Jordan ones that come out in November with the silver swoosh on it for my six man. Does it man. want to say that? I'm going to pick it? in the future because <laughs> Bordeaux's the seven is probably top 10 personal Jordans in my club. I love that shoe. I love the color. I love the name, everything about it. And to see that played on a one, but without the Nike air tongue, like a, a traditional tongue, unlike it's white and Navy brethren. So it's like more traditional and a color. I love, I love a silver swoosh. Yeah. I'm going to go. Into the future, into the immediate future. <laughs> and go I, Bordeaux one. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I guess I'll end mine on another classic, and that is going to be the original UNC one. Nice. Beautiful. Damn, there's already shoes that I'm seeing now that I'm looking. <laughs> that I forgot. That's why you need to. I sort of started obviously picking random ass shoes just for funsies, but like we got to have this for like a full, maybe even like. Yeah, but your random ass shoe would have been one that I picked. I had the metallic oranges on. <laughs> um, okay. We need like six people for this one. But, yeah, no, we got yeah. like, maybe he's thinking like 10 people. You get like 10 seconds on the clock to say your yep. shoe and what Dang. and which one you want. And you keep yep. it moving. All right. If you're in the Discord, we got to figure this out. So let us know who wants to be on the show with us. Who wants to do this? Just to recap, I started with the Shattered Backboards, the Court Purples, second. The Black Toes third, the Barons Air Jordan one, the SB Lance Mountain Jordan one in the white colorway, and the black and red ones off the bench for my six man. Very nice. Lovely. I have the Royal Jordan one, the Chicago Jordan one, the Mocha, the Armed Forces mid, the white and orange metallic OG, and the future coming, I mean future, Bordeaux Jordan one. (laughs) Yet to arrive. Yet to arrive. All right. So my list is Shadow number one, Nigel Sylvester number two, Storm Blue number three, Black White number four, uh, Metallic Navy number five, and UNC is my sixth man off the bench. It's a pretty solid list. Not only is there a lot of great Jordan ones, but there's a lot of great Jordan one colorways. I feel Mm -hmm. like if, you know, with a few exceptions, right? But like if all of us were like, okay, I can only have six Jordan ones the rest of our lives. We'd be pretty happy with our picks today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd be all right. Yeah. I wouldn't need anything it's else. It's almost too fruitful. <laughs> I think I just yeah. need three of them, honestly. Three of them, I'd be happy. Six, I'm just, you know, filth of riches at that point. I mean, that's kind of how I feel. I think I have four pairs of Jordan ones now. So, but I've downsized to now a total of 16 with mids and lows. Sweet Jesus. I literally <laughs> have three pairs of Jordan ones at this point. <laughs> 16. Being in my max, I've had like 20 something. Look, yeah. I'm just gonna get I'm gonna triple Maybe socket. Let me get some of them off your off your closet. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think too, like when you see somebody else wearing a colorway that you wouldn't like when you started wearing the, the biohacks, I was like, ah oh, damn. Probably That's a sick got shoe. Those. I sold those. Those are, those are no longer in my possession. I, I kind of miss them, but there's 16 other ones to play with. So I was like, ah, yep. in the grand scheme of shoes, <laughs> you lost biohack. But <laughs> it's all good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I all right, Joe. Well, that pretty much wraps. We got a, uh, we left a lot of good stuff on the table, but we're going to, we're going to run this back again in the future. So if you're not already a member of the discord, just hit the link in the description, wherever you're watching or listening to this, it'll be the first link to get you there. Probably have uh, 
at, at least another 30, 40 pairs that people would just automatically think to pick. So yeah. I think doing this a second time with a bigger crew is going to be a whole lot of fun. All right. Well, make sure you give these guys a follow. Mike, Robbie, you can find them in the description as well. Follow Sneaker History on all the platforms if you're not already. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace. See you. Later.